What's up? It's me, your friend, Aspiring Spike. Hello, good morning. Uh, moderate at the moment feels... Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I've kind of made this up in my head, but... Almost feels like we're in the middle of an arms race at the moment, where... This 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 shell of four windbrisk kites, four collectors cages, and then putting in a bunch of cheap creatures to uh, cast some Immercals, cast some Amarius calls for free, it seems like a very powerful thing to be doing. It because you have eight of these, and and so you're like pretty consistent at getting to hideaway. You're pretty consistent at least like chaining these together if you don't actually hit Immercool or Amarius call, and you can be pretty fast and hard to interact with too. Yesterday we played a convoke build of this deck. That I think that I think did went pretty salt pretty well. Um, I think our first draft was not as good, and then we ended up moving away from like Venerated Loxodon, and we ended up playing uh, uh, eight of the three mana convokers. Mono blue, mono green, mono red. So th this is kind of where we were at with that build yesterday. Just sort of a convoke shell, playing nurturing pixie, legions landing. Uh, Martyr Soul, Halo Hopper. This 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 build is a little bit faster than what we're playing today, um, but I think that this build is better so far. Uh, I I think that this build is even potentially a lot better. Not not only not only is it like I think has I think has a, I think this build has a, be a better plan B, but it also it really doesn't lose that much speed. In fact, uh, in gold fishing so far, I think I've had like a lot more turn two emeralds because of the Springleaf drums. Um, Springleaf Jumps have enabled Turn 2 Immercool a lot more. Actually, I turned 2 Immercool off of a Collector's Cage. Oh, wait, sorry, not Collector's Cage. No, sorry, it was still, it was still off Windmere's Kites. No. Okay, was it Cage? I can't remember. I think it was Cage. So it's all been a blur the last couple days. Um, but instead of the Convoke Shell, and again, this is kind of going off of Thief of Crowns, like human build that was pr pretty different, was playing, you know, Solitude, Moonshaker, Calvary. I'm a, I'm a big believer in the Immercool. Immercold now actually has a little bit more added utility now that we have one of Brainstone. Um, but we're going in an Artifact and Fiddlebender shell. Fiddlebender, oh, so kind of simply put, Collector's Cage is ridiculously good. If you can untap with an Oswald Fiddlebender or give it haste with a Lava Spur Boots and then activate Fiddlebender to get Collector's Cage, that's really good. You can sack one of your Springleaf Drums. We have one of Chromatic Star to like search up and like sack for value you can sack an esper sentinel or you can sack one of your clue tokens into a one into a uh into two over the course of two turns which is kind of slow usually um um but, but, but cage is cage is really really good <laughs> kind of simply kind of simply put um i've been really liking the springleaf drums here we kind of you know we have 21 mana sources in a deck that curves out of two i know it's at, at first look it looks like you have 13 lands we have 17 lands, including the MDFCs, and then four Springleaf Drums. The Springleaf Drums have been really, really nice in a deck that already really wants to play eight zero-mana creatures. Um, and this this deck, like, loves, loves Ornithopter and Midmite. Like, ba like, basically no deck I've played in years. I Like, I think even more, even more, like, Ornithopter and Midmite have felt, like, better to draw and better to have in my hand than, like, Affinity Shells, like, like ba ba almost anything. These cards are just so so good. Just to have, just having as any zero mana creature that goes to play is so crazy. To deck with heights and collector's cage to really like try to break these cards. Um, we're also playing the full eight inspectors here, uh, which I think help facilitate the fiddlebender plan and the Urza Saga plan really well. In addition, it's pretty annoying to have to kill an inspector, so like they just kind of gum up the board and like tr turn on your cage and your heights. Uh, Warden of the Inner Sky, I think, is uh, you know it doesn't have the artifact synergies necessarily it's not like an artifact payoff but it's just in a deck that's playing kind of like this shell <laughs> almost word it almost feels mandatory you get to scry a lot and do the thing uh the brainstone has actually been really really nice where not only can you get the emeralds out of your hand you can put them on the top of your library uh to then uh hide away and and uh <laughs> to then to then hide away and uh cast so it's like something i've been doing is I've been like going fi activate Fiddlebender, get Collector's Cage, or just or just cast Collector Cage, and then get Brainstone, and then responding to the Hideaway trigger after I've shuffled, activate Brainstone, put Emrakul on top, and that that has seemed like pretty pretty dang nice. I, at the moment, I think the first Brainstone is I, I would never play two, but I think the first Brainstone is is worth playing. So like not not only get rid of Emrakuls, but more so to set up to like Hideaway and Emrakul on the top of your library, which I think is pretty dang cool. The Lava Speed Birds is awesome. Um, 
but yeah, I I almost I almost feel like this 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 deck is like better at executing Plan A because you have like Fiddlebender to tutor the uh, the cages more often, and I think you have a better Plan B than what we were playing yesterday. Uh, not only not only with just like the Saga uh, Fiddlebender Plan B Warden Under Sky whatever, but you also just like are a lot easier able to get like effective sideboard cards where you can like tutor Solus Jailer Damping Sphere Pithing Needle Relic of Regenitus. Uh, I would say not always. Um, let's keep this. Uh, we're going to go turn one Sentinel into turn two tapped Wimbrus Kites Fiddlebender. Could activate Wimbrus Kites on turn three if we're playing a non-interactive matchup. We also have uh, one of Castle Ganjo to protect your Fiddlebender. I'm not playing the other Ganjo. I, th I think the fourth planes is better than that of Ganjo, kind of simply put. <laughs> uh, to be a little bit better against Blood Moon. The, fi the fifth planes might be better than this one, but just like being able to protect your key card from, from, from Lightning Bolt is, you know... Relevant enough, maybe. Yeah, Warden was really, really good yesterday, and then I, 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 it's, it's kind of funny. Despite moving away from the Convoke Shell, we're just playing eight Raven Inspectors, which is it, it, the the Warden has been also really crazy in this build. Yeah, I was, um, I was working on the deck a lot yesterday, and I didn't have Drum in my draft for a long time. And like as soon as, as soon as I added four Springleaf Drum, I was like, oh, this deck's nuts. Opponents <laughs> probably playing Amulet Titan, which is I, th I think good news for us with this hand, with uh, the f the fact that we can hide away so well. Um, I'm gonna put a Mary's Call underneath, and then let's cast a Fiddle Bender, and then crack in Dev Saga and Lissa. Now, not in the, I don't think you want to play Saga in the Convoke Show. You could Saga. Saga has been pretty has been good in this deck though, but I I I just kind of felt like there's there's like probably three main ways you can approach this. Right? There's the humans build that uh, Thief of Crowns played. There's the uh, Convoke Show we played yesterday, and I think there's this more artifact focused build with Urza Saga. Maybe there's maybe there's some other ways you could do it, but this is uh, my initial thinking at least. So I'm pretty sure we're supposed to have Mary's call this turn, and the, because we can't actually, if we get our uh, collector's vault, we won't have three different powers. We'll have two different powers, but then this will give us three different powers for next turn. We also um, not super far away from lethal, right? Yeah, put them to three. Opponent can't play a titan with just a bounce land here. Okay, deck tech for Espoke. Playing an Azusa. But not copying the amulet first, so maybe no bounce land in hand. Ooh, slime against humanity. Very cool. Okay, so I've drawn Collector's Cage for turn, which is interesting. I think what I want to do is start off in Fiddlebender for a cage. There's a Merkle. This deck this deck is. I'm I'm a, I'm a believer. I I'm a believer. I real I think that this deck is very scary, with like how consistently it just does this, and then also just has sick backup plan, and then also this build can play lots of like meaningful interaction that is tutorable. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. Like that, it's it's one of these decks where it's like it, it just does its thing. It's like well, <laughs> you know, get fucked. I don't I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. I'm bringing these damping stars. I'm bringing the the first portable hole too. Don't know if I want. To, I was thinking about dispatch of this matchup, and I wasn't exactly, wasn't exactly sure. I think the brainstone is likely a little slow. Um, I think the star is also kind of like dirtily in a way that we don't really want to be. And then I think the wardens also like kind of facilitate this beat down game plan that's less important, so we can trim a couple copies. And I think I'll probably bring in the first needle too, since they're a one ring deck. They're good. Yeah, th this deck is this this deck is scary. Like I, I I it's been a while. It it really hasn't been since like the Bean Cascade deck where I'm like, maybe maybe this is broken. I did feel like that deck was pretty busted. Um and and like the Convoke Shell yesterday was solid. This one, I think this is the one. If if there's going to be a, if this is if this deck is broken, if this archetype is broken, this this is going to be it. I think we'll see though. Okay, so we've got twenty five slimes, four Imrakuls. Why are there Emrakuls here? Oh, we're Shell Duck Isling after Serum Powdering and Extirpating? Mwah, mwah. Wow. Wow. 
Okay, I feel like I would play, like, two less surveil lands and two more fetch lands. I feel like I would just rather... Like, you, you have, like fetch lands... You, you don't need four surveil lands. You probably could just play, like, three and then just play, like, nine fetch lands or something. Just, like, just fetch four of the surveils. Because you really just want to surveil one slime into the yard, I would think. This is a cool deck, though. This is a very cool deck. Okay, so we're on the draw. Game two here. We have a turn three collector's cage activation on the draw if we draw a land. But we have minus one Emrakul. And we're on the draw against an Amulet Titan opponent who's kept seven. I think I'm going to mulligan this. We like, like the damping sphere is kind of like what I want. Um, okay. I don't like these collective brutalities. I don't know what the abrupt decays are for. Um, sideboarding in general with this this deck it looks like it'll likely be pretty dang weird. Um, could main deck the fourth extra paid too. Probably be okay. I like the sideboard gemstone caverns. I feel like the pick your poisons. I don't know. I feel like against Leyland Scion, you just kind of want to emrakul them. Sideboarding with these kind of decks is always so weird. You have to like really. It's kind of tough without. You probably play. You probably want Force of Vigor over Pick your, You want Force of Vigor over Pick your Poison for sure. Need some help in the Titan matchup too. Okay, so how are we feeling about Fiddlebender versus the Damping Sphere this turn? I think I'm gonna play the fiddle bender. I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna feel pretty silly if we die, but it doesn't seem that likely we are. They like they they, ha they have to have another amulet in their hand most likely, and they they would have very likely cast it this last turn. So we'll see. Turn three is a Titan turn, yeah, but not like with this hand. It's just you know, not okay. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and fiddle bender. I guess we'll attack for one first. Attack for one, Fiddlebender the Sentinel into a Collector's Cage. If we if we find an Emrakul or something really crazy, we also, we, you know, I guess if we had upkeep, oh, we would have shuffled, never mind. If we, if we find an Emrakul, we can cast Warden and then do the thing. Um, instead, we don't really find much. I guess I would take Novice Inspector. Maybe I should have taken. Sorry, I should have taken. There's an S. I should have taken Sentinel to fiddle bend it. Whatever. It's fine. Hold on one second. Fire spout, huh? Okay. So let's play a warden. Scry one. Bottom this. I think I'm just going to use the cage to put a counter. I think that that's probably better than casting the drum this turn. Could have kept the Sentinel to cast the Novice Inspector. Feels like we have much better top decks, though. Do we need a higher density of hits for cage? No. We have... For Emrakul, for Amaria's Call, the rest of the cages, the rest of the uh, Wimbrus Kites, Fiddlebender, <laughs> Urza Saga's okay sometimes. It's like, it's, it's, I don't know. I, I know this was kind of a brick, but I, I it does not seem like we, we need more, no. Okay. So play a Three Wood Inspector. If you're not scrying, you're crying. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that on top. Draw it, play it. Put an Emrakul there. Scry one again. Uh, I think we can do better than Saga. Should have scryed before heightsing them. Can we play one or two more rings. The the one ring in this deck, we, <laughs> we we don't we don't have we don't have the mana for ring. So my opponent is Summoner's Pacting for Dryad. This will cost them four mana, 
but they have double Valakit. Fuck. So they're killing my warden. And they're killing the rest of my board. Okay, probably gonna have to settle this in game three. Take a draw step. If I could kill the dryad, they'd they'd die. I think I have no outs to kill the dryad. I didn't bring in uh dispatches. Okay, game three. Get to be on the play for game three. Fire spell was really good. Game three, let's do it. I'm not gonna bring in the dispatches. Thought of having one Palantir so you can fiddle cage away. Yeah, I mean I had a nettle cyst. I don't I don't know that Palantir is what you want. Palantir kind of sounds nice, but um So so far it seems like you just don't really fiddle bend away <laughs> uh, cage basically ever. It's just like not really something that happens realistically. Um one, the problem here is that we're gonna have a hard time like actually cast we're, we have all one power creatures, so it'll take too many turns, I think, to to do this. I think we have a lot better sixes, although this is not one of them. Let's go to five. Definitely have better fives. Not thrilled with this, but take what you can get. Yeah, for those asking what's uh, in the deck list, you can type exclamation point deck and get a full 75 from our wonderful friends over at Moxfield. I'm going to take the a turn off before spearing. But I thought about Soul Cauldron. Um, I think that's just too slow and dirtily. Could be a good, probably a good sideboard card. Grindstone will be a really, really good deck in modern in the Urza Saga format. Um, don't think it would be a super positive addition. Let's go draw Urza Saga. So I think you want to be cra or, or I guess one of these two also really rewards us for cracking first. And we can, so if we go attack with everything, I guess we would need to draw a land to be able to activate Collector's Cage and then cast the thing, since we have the Damping Sphere restriction here. Laser Pew, thank you for the seven months, hope you're doing well. We may see our opponent um, expedition map for like Besaidu too. They consider Surge of Salvation to protect the combo. No, we're comboing with like a land and an artifact. It's just like obviously they're gonna have like some some ways to interact with this stuff, but your stuff is the combo is just built in protected because you're <laughs> trying to do it. Wait, they're attacking with me having heights in play. Let's go. Huh. I think I'm going to. Go for this. Because I, I can um can do the thing on my opponent's turn. Okay, so we can cast an Emrakul on our opponent's turn here. If I if I do it now, I can't cast it, right? Yeah. So hopefully this damping sphere just buys me a turn. Um I think we don't activate yet. If they kill the cage in response, we should still get to cast the Emrakul. I'm going to do it in response to this uh, this ring. They may not know this, or I may be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we still get to cast the thing. Targeting the, the novice inspector here so they can't uh, besage you the, this. I guess they could just besage you <laughs> one of these, though. Okay, I cast Emrakul. So I've got a Damping Sphere in play. I've got an Emrakul in play. I'm taking two turns next turn for 
Annihilator 12 if they play the ring. Yeah, 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 that, that, that's my understanding, Doom. I we we still won the game, but we messed up a, a turn yesterday because I thought if they besage you the cage in response, we didn't get the cast them were cool. Thanks again, Laser Pew. Yeah, saying grindstone would do nothing modern is so funny, because it's like it's like <laughs> it's like this this like five mana two card combo where one card that you don't have to untap with where one card gets tutored off Urza Saga. <laughs> and so you just get to like you have some really, really fast skills with it. It's like it would be like one of the most efficient combos in the format. It'd be it would be very good, I think, if grindstone were legal. You could beat it, but <laughs> to say it wouldn't do anything is very funny. Yeah, I do think this deck is pretty nuts. It is very funny that like of all the shells so far, I, I do think this Fiddlebender shell is the best one. Or at least the artifact shell is, you know. I, Fiddlebender, I think, is good here, but I, I don't think it's super mandatory, necessarily. Okay, so there's an Amulet of Vigor. Do they have an answer for the Damping Sphere already in hand? They play a Kessig Wolf run. This is good news for us. I feel like the first match I've played like the last two weeks, it's like almost every day. It's like I'm playing it's Titan first. Am I still high on my Amalia builds? Uh yeah, I think with the Amalia decks are pretty solid. I would I would I would like in general recommend them, yeah. I think I'll attack with the all the creatures with power and toughness here. Yeah, pa Painter Servant's legal, but Grindstone isn't. But there's there's just someone in the chat who said Grindstone would do nothing in modern. I just thought it was a very funny thing to say. So now at the 46 months, let's go, dude. So, well, I suppose I should just put a counter for lethal here, but I, I, I also just had another Immercool attack coming. <laughs> now that we have synthesizing chance to be viable to Twitch Prime, thank you as well. Gonna mulligan this. Keep this one, put back second drum. Selfie's on the mold to five today. Old Steady, 13 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Uh, a, a long, long time ago, we did a... Uh, I'm going to play this first so it can't be discarded. Um, we did, we actually did a uh, donation deck where I was just supposed to build around Painter. And I played like... Mirroring Crusader. And I play I played the, the three... This is, a, this is like pre-MH2. I played like the three mana 2-2 two, two Exile Black Permanent when I entered the battlefield. I was main decking for Veil of Summers. And it did not go very well. Okay, clinging the Marsh Flats. Plays a Nile Spellbomb. A lot of Graveyard hate today, huh, Selfie? Like I would have played Warden first here. Uh, you you don't want to do that. You want to I, I think against the the mono black removal spell that deck. I think you want to play it to where you are going to get your scry off and uh, on this kind of turn. <laughs> Maybe they just have another removal spell, but now I just get to scry twice. Even that one. A lot of edict insurance here. Okay, so let's go tap one, two. I'm not going to sack the star here because of Bowmaster, so we'll just sack this, or tap this. Bottom another one of these. Get in for five. They have another push. They probably should have pushed on their turn to deny the scry. The, to deny the scry. Maybe not. Oh, sorry, I missed a, missed a scry here. Oops. Main deck damnation? Don't think selfie usually main decks damnation. Oh yeah, I guess the factory could have blocked them. Yeah, but next turn we can sack. Okay, they have a push. It does really feel like my opponent's uh holding a bowmaster. Oh no, I did not mean to tap the warden. Hmm. I'm gonna keep that on top and then I'm 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 just I'm just not gonna 
I'm just not going to crack the clue main phase to play the heights, though, because it, it's just so bad if they have Bowmaster, get to kill two mid mites, and the heights just, like, do nothing. I can, like, maybe end of turn crack, or I can just, can just do nothing. Sorry, right, I'm also Mr. Scry. It's okay, we still have lethal next turn. Okay, there's an Emrakul also. Which I'm starting to feel like I won't get to do because my opponent will just die to this ward. We also missed, missed six damage this game. Selfie had a rough mole again. Okay, so we're on the draw against Selfie's rack deck. Um, don't know if this is... I think that this should be a Shadow Spear matchup. I think we'll do Shadow Spear over the boots. Uh, we may, maybe we could play both. Maybe we could play both. I think I want the four removal spells. I was thinking that in matchups like this, against like black based removal decks, like I was thinking like we could just board out the Emrakuls, where like Amaria's Call is also going to be like this game winning end of card. And, the, and like against black based mid range decks and maybe Merc Tide too, it's like I think we just win the grindy game and a, a way we lose is we just draw too many Emrakuls. So let's do this. Let's 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 actually just ha keep the uh, the boots in and let's cut the Emrakul and the Brainstone for the removal spells and the Shadow Spear, which I think is a pretty good thing to do here. We also play a Relic. Relic, um, Relic is probably something we should have. But maybe it's like, maybe I'll try my Men Might too. I'm not, I'm not sure if we just like end up being like kind of too dopey, but I think, I think it's good to, to play test this cyborg plan, right? Boarding out the Emrakuls. Needle for Lily. Yeah, we could bring a Needle for, for Lily. Lily is pretty bad against us, though, because we have so many zero drops. So probably not. Could also have explosives. Uh, we're on a mold of six. My opponent's kept seven this time. I think I'm going to keep this on the draw on six against the the rack. Just so tough to go to five. Feels bad to take your cage targets out. Yeah, but cage should, should just be good. And we still have the Amarius calls as like this big finisher. Again, I'm just, just trying to figure out this plan. Could we have three Relic, one Stone of E-Reach? Seems good versus Yogg, Scales, and Scam. Um, yeah, you could. One Stone seems fine. Yeah, I'm, 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 actually, I'm on board for a Stone. Scales is becoming a bit more popular. Is it worth keeping one Emrakul again? Uh, I, I, at the moment, I'm just going to try this plan. You can keep one Emrakul in, in if you think it's worth it, but... I don't think I'd like to side out the combo against them. If they don't kill your Theory of Inspector rather than your Warden, they would have been a way longer one, unlikely to beat them without cheating a bit. You think so? I, I feel like I was super ahead. <laughs> like, like this is like an Urza Saga mirror where my Saga tokens are like so much bigger than theirs. Um, But it's also like, like the, the, the Windbrush Kites and Collector's Vault are still going to, they're still going to do some work here. They're not just like <laughs> blank cards now. I think I'm gonna play Heights turn one here. Like, look, I'm just just putting in a Marius call underneath. This 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 is this also wins the, should win the game in the matchup. Spider the 17 months. Good morning to you. Ornithopter mid might be a pretty good draw. Maybe not mid might against a. Uh... Bowmaster. I keep in one Emrakul or also board out the brainstorm. I did also board out the brainstorm. So you you can keep one Ember Clone. Let's just let's just figure out the cyborg plan. Okay, they have a bowmaster. Grief scam into bowmaster on the play. Thankfully, I got a couple one twos. I guess. Okay, no more collector's cage. Pretty good start for our opponent. We can find an, a creature for next turn. That would go a long way. <laughs> huh. Can I afford to scry? I'd basically be committing to taking like seven. I don't know. I guess I could. I guess I probably should just tap the grief this turn, huh? And a push, man. This is a brutal start against our like awkward mulligan. Uh, Saga's really nice. I think it's likely gonna be 
Too slow. Good info. Run dispatch. That feels uh. Just just say you don't like it. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. I I I'm a big dispatch fan. Dispatch is a bit better when you have three artifacts in play, which I, I think is pretty easy to hit in this list. It's like certainly the best removal spell we could play on the sideboard if you want it. I think. I'm gonna keep them in. What's the reason? The, we have the Immercools in the main deck, and I've sided them out against my opponent's uh, black base mid range deck, just trying to have like less less bricks in the shell. Uh, trying out the cyborg plan, but they are in the main deck. Is Saltu not good? No, Saltu is Saltu is not a good modern card chat. It, it is, but like it's like it, Saltu is not good unless you're playing like Ephemerate, Persist, uh, a control deck with Gehira. Like th these are like the only time Solitude is good. People just th play Solitude in like the most random ass decks ever. It, it, it just would suck in this kind of show, I think. <sighs> Tough matchup to Mulligan in. Dispatches online. I'm gonna keep. If we miss our second land, we get to uh, play Fiddlebender next turn. It's just a tough matchup to mulligan in. When it's on a mulligan in six. Maybe uh, cutting something against Bowmaster deck. Okay, yeah, maybe, but like Bowmaster Sentinel like is triggers off a lot of the stuff in their shell too. It's seems like an okay card to keep. Maybe just going to name Urza Saga. Okay. They also have four Sagas in the deck, and I don't even necessarily have my second land. Don't have my second land, so this ends up working out well. Guess I should probably just get my board played. Yeah, sorry. I, 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 sh I should have played the, the Midmind Celestrian. Okay, take that trade. Pushes the fiddle bender. Pitch to thoughts he's there. Let me go ahead and sack this clue token so I can get a little bit better info about what to what to grab. I guess it's just gonna be a drum. Weird board state. <laughs> well, it's got three cards in their hand. Needle and Urza Saga with four Sagas in their deck. But when it has Bowmasters, it's pretty bad for me to send with everything. Maybe we'll just send with one of these. I'm going to hold the Ornithopter to incentivize a Thoughtseize to get cast, potentially. It's not really doing a lot in play, right? It does have the Bowmaster. I guess also holding for the rack is pretty relevant. Three cards in opponent's hand. Needs another fatal push. Inquisition's my ornithopter. Happy enough with that. Fuck. Selfie always has a pretty... Pretty good case of uh, having it. Saving this in the hand for the rack, of course. All the good top decks, including this one. Probably the best draw, depending on what it hits, I guess. Um, so Urza Saga is needled. So why don't we go for the Windbrisk Heights? Can play around another Bowmaster by targeting the, the Thraven Inspector, but the Inspector is just kind of a bit more valuable if they have push. Relic, Inspector. I guess we're going to take the Inspector. I think Relic. 
It's better if they have a undying effect. Yeah, I'll take this, I guess. Yeah, no Emrakul's in deck. We have the Amarius calls. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear, oh, we broke down our Emrakul here. <laughs> Emrakul's also like just such a nightmare draw in these kind of spots. Dobran, 10 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Gil with the 32. Appreciate you. Opponent hits their third land drop. Are there any Liliana of the Veils left in the deck? We also have pretty good attack. Down to 11. Another copy of Windrush Kites. So if my opponent undies the Bowmaster, I could just assign two damage to the Orc army. I haven't had to do that trick in a while. There's our Marius call. Ooh. What are you trying to hit? Just more Marius calls? Yeah, Marius call, Fiddlebender. Uh, with, with Urza Saga would be like a nice hit in these spots. Like it would have been good off the cage earlier, but they have a needle on Saga. So we're gonna take four. I'm like basically never ever uh, playing whatever card I draw here. Uh, this, this is just a sideboard plan I'm trying out in these kind of matchups. We, you know, I think I think I like it, but I'm op I'm open to believing it's not optimal. So let's just let damage happen here right now. My Midmite's indestructible. But I do I do want to cast this Novice Inspector so that I have the ability to draw an extra card on my upkeep in response to the rack triggers. And I also have this Collector's Cage activation up. And, and most of my stuff is indestructible here. One damage off lethal, damage, damnation. Is that true? Because I have the Cage activation twice, so I, I would just keep these five, six, seven. Because th this isn't indestructible. But that would require opponent's hand to be land and damnation. Okay. Beat selfie today. Yeah, I think this deck's sick. On the play. The good hand, for sure. Let's click, click the keep button. I think I'm gonna go Windbrisk Kites on turn one here. Wait, is that I guess I guess maybe I should just play Warden. Should go Plains Warden and I can go Midmite Inspector. Um, activate the warden. Oh, maybe I, maybe I should also play the midmite on turn one to play around like a grief scam. I guess I'll do that. <laughs> so many the sequencing early is so tough here. That says good game. You too. Salmon with the gifted sub. Thank you, Salmon. Appreciate you. How does Saga type one work? Do you have to target first chapter to destroy it? No, whichever whichever chapter you you counter, um, whichever chapter you counter, the Saga doesn't gain that ability. So if you counter ch chapter one, the Saga is not going to be able to make mana. If you counter chapter two, it's not going to be able to make constructs. If you counter chapter three, they don't get to search up something. So I'm going I'm to describe before Heights here to dig for Emrakul. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> Dude, this, it's early. We might have broken it. We the, the, we might have broken modern here. <laughs> <coughs> I am. It's early. It's early. <laughs> we make it our midnight bowmaster. Nope. One, two, three, four. Like, you know, we probably haven't, but we're definitely, like, way closer than we usually are, huh? <laughs> might have broken Inspiring Spike at the beginning of a 2-3 league. Yeah, I don't know. I don't... We might not... We might not have also, but it's looking it's looking pretty good at the moment. Yeah, I got four Fiddlebender. Fiddlebender... 
As it turns out, when Fiddlebender can turn to a really broken two mana artifact, Fiddlebender gets a lot better. My opponent is uh still still gaming. <laughs> Maybe they didn't realize I got the I got the Emrakul turn. Yeah, explosive plan A and good plan B, and this this deck also gets to like play a lot more interaction with because Fiddlebender and Saga can tutor for good cyborg cards. <laughs> okay, where where is my draw step? <laughs> oh, it's taking a screenshot. Going to combat. Foden's like, what the heck? I thought Splinter Twin was banned in this format. You can just cast Emrakul? <laughs> Splinter Twin is banned in this format? What? Okay, that gets them to concede. Okay, up a game. Get to bring in the removal spells. Get to bring in the needles. We'll have a Stone of E-Reach for next time we play the, this matchup. I think that was a good suggestion. I think Shadow Spear is pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to also bring in the boots or leave in the boots. I'm going to cut the Brainstone and the Star. I usually like to do this in like the less, in like against combo matchups. I think we cut the Sentinels also. All right, so let's also cut the boots. Pest Control Server Bullet if this deck takes off. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! No, that card, that card isn't that good. Come on! <laughs> Come on. Wait a couple days, maybe, <laughs> before registering pest control against me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have played against Mill. That matchup is pretty good. <laughs> that matchup is pretty good. Playing one star. So we're playing one star because a lot of times, or some amount of the time, you're going to want to tutor it off of Saga and sack it to Fiddlebender to get a cage for some value. Or you're going to sack like a clue token or a midmind or ornithopter to get a star uh, and then ne plan next turn to sack that into a collector's cage. This is just hammer time, but you could actually win the game if you come off. Yeah. I think, I think that's a really good way to think about this stack. This is like, it's like hammer, <laughs> but you will get, you get, you, but you're not <laughs> just cold to everything. <laughs> okay. On the, on the draw, no lands. Taking the mulligan. No lands in again. I got 17 of them. Oh, sorry, I meant to put back these two legends. Not the not the best five. But it's okay. If we're gonna mold the five, we want to do it the the game we're on the draw, huh? Could sack this clue token into a portable hole, maybe. There's also like there's something I'm starting to think is there's definitely a range of hands where you're gonna play Saga on turn one mostly to like just grab Ornithopter so you can collector's cage on turn three and activate. Um But I've 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 definitely I definitely feel like I haven't done that enough. I could also get a needle off the, the fiddle bender next turn. But if they if they just cast Yogg on the on turn three, we're gonna be cooked, maybe? What okay, is it? Is it just like new Magic Online players? But like, like, why is it always the slowest players just have like e either upkeep or draw step stops? I don't understand. <laughs> it's like it's okay if you're playing slow and learning, but please, please, with the upkeep and draw step stops, it'll just save so much time. Yeah, yeah. Fiddle Fiddlebender shuffling is like pretty relevant because whenever you mulligan and have Emrakul, you bought a Emrakul. So getting more shuffles with Saga and Fiddlebender, it, that that was definitely something I felt like I was we were missing in the Convoke shells. Like you would mulligan and you put an Emrakul or two on the bottom, and you'd be like, oh, all my hideaway cards are worse now because I can't shuffle them. Oh dang, I forgot to buy cages. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, so they can go for one, two, three, four, five. Not quite enough. Sparring chat inside trading. <laughs> I don't know. I whenever I buy cards, I buy exactly one play set for myself. I don't ever speculate these days. Not the most mana efficient turn. We did mobile five. Gotta do this as sorcery, of course. 
I just I just tend to like when I think a card is really good and I play I tend to like to buy a play set. Uh but I forgot to. Okay, Bowmaster, two cards in their hand. They've got a needle on Yogmoth. We can next turn like grab an ornithopter and then use our cage. Cord for two? For why are you courting for two? Okay, Haywire might? Just court for one. What is your hand that you would want to do this? What could your hand possibly... What, what last card could you possibly have where that it's right to get a young wolf here? Like, if it's Rexage, you save the cord for Yawgmoth. Did you just have another cord and you top decked Rexage? Your two cards are... Are cord Rexage here? How? I guess in this situation, when you're top, when when you know somehow you have one card, you know next turn your hand's gonna be Court of Calling Rex Sage, then courting for one, mm, that's a okay. Good job, young players. What the fuck? <laughs> How did this happen? All right, game three on the flame. Looking probably pretty good for us on the flame. All right, let's. <laughs> I played, huh? Maybe they had second cord and just drew the sage. Yeah, but if they had second cord of hand and drew the sage, it's wrong for them to cord for young wolf because they need to cord for sage and then cord for yog. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's just it just isn't right for them to cord for two there with basically any single card they could have in their hand. If their hand was reclamation sage, it's better for them to cast the sage and then cord for yog. Maybe they thought they had liberator. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm I'm just, I'm just saying it just it just like. It's very sad because it, it just wasn't right for them to get the, the young wolf there. But <laughs> it's okay. It's also like the young wolf didn't even really matter. We, were, we just couldn't, you know. I'm not disagreeing. I think it's most likely a situation. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I, I, I agree that is the most likely situation. I remember, I was playing Yogg against Arnie, and I, I would he was playing Tron, and like we just we knew the matchup was good, but I would just draw both Besages every single game. It was like 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 five games in a row. It was very funny. Um. Okay. Turn two saga activation with dispatch active. Dispatch is kind of uh. <laughs> Just say you don't like it. Um. Uh, I guess they did say they didn't like it. Other relevant hate cards for this combo other than Solus Jailer. Uh, Solus Jailer doesn't stop Immercool being cast. It's only non creatures. It's kind of weird, right? Uh, Dreadth Magistrate stops it. This hand is uh, soft to a force of vigor. That's exactly what I don't know. <laughs> I think this match is the best removal spell you could play, and I, I want to play some removal spells for Yogg and Merktide and Scam. Oh, dude. Yeah, we're soft to this card. Brutal. Now this this batch is worse now. <laughs> okay, so our dispatches are online again. For now. I think Fiddle has been pretty good. I think it makes sense to play in the shell. It's more of, you know, a role player rather than like the most important card in the deck. But that, that's kind of also the thing about Fiddlebender is it's like it's just not a good enough card for you to be like this is what my deck is doing. But Fiddlebender just kind of like complements the rest of the shell in, I think, a pretty nice way. Would you play Mox Opal if I could? Yeah. I might. I probably would. <laughs> well, bad news, Bowmaster, huh? I guess I did get to dispatch the Bowmaster and then. They ping the Midmite, and their other thing doesn't have a block, so I still have a pretty good attack here. Did I mulligan this game, or did I just get Force of Vigor? Okay, I did not mulligan. Go, go, my little one-twos. Save me. Three cards in their hand. Hopefully no Grist. I guess I can needle a Grist. Plays a Delighted Halfling. Two cards in hand. 
Some good top decks here. Gus would like a land. We'll take a Springleaf Drum. All right, there's a land. Cast Needle first, see if it resolves. Okay, name Bird and Catacombs. Can like dispatch the Halfling and just keep them off Yogg, so I don't think that with them being on two cards in hand, I should do something else. Also, dispatching the Halfling makes my attacks a lot better. I'll put an Emrakul there, too. Can't Needle Halfling. Needle does not stop mana abilities. We also stop the Surveil here from the Burning Catacombs, which is nice. I guess Land Yogmoth is good, but they've been... Uh... I guess they didn't miss a land drop. Why did I think they missed? I, I missed land drops. <laughs> I mean, if they do Yogmoth, I have the dispatch. It should be okay. But it probably has a cord if they're thinking this long. Is it almost always correct to name the fetch if Neo resolves? Um, I don't know. Sometimes it is. I think especially with surveil lands being a thing, uh, I think it's I think it's really good too. Any considers from Bomat to have haste creature? Well, you have boots, so you can give haste to a creature. Um. Bomat's also, like, it's just, like, really annoying that you have to, like, have some red sources in the deck, too. Otherwise, like, I, you just have this, like, shitty card. You could play Ginger Brute, too. Um, yeah, you, you, could, you could play one. But that would be the kind of deck building decision I think you make after, like, a week of playing the deck. Pink Ranger, I think, with the 14 months. Hope you're doing well today. Thank you for the resub. Opponents in the tank. That's okay. No, the brain the brainstorm is more just like the the, the the shut people up. It's like it's it's actually been pretty good to like just brainstorm it to the top and then set up the hideaway. And we booted an Emmy. We've cast several Emrakuls this league, yeah. I don't know what booted means. Okay, so my opponent who definitely has a court of calling is gonna get dispatched here. I'm definitely not gonna sack my clue token before I use my dispatch. Um, I also think I'm not going to attack because I really just don't want to lose any creature in combat. My win con is now back to being this heights. Um, so we'll see if my opponent cords for one. Instead, they besage you my Windbrisk Kite. So I'm going to go ahead and dispatch this halfling in response. Opponent's down to two mana. Nice little two for one here. I'm gonna go and crack this clue before they can bow master me. I only have one dispatch left in the deck. Kind of weird that they went after the windbrisk kites when I didn't even have third creature and I have a needle on their land. Not really have expected that to be the the choice. Um how likely is it that my opponent has a Bowmaster? Uh, they, they could have one, but let me let me go ahead and sack this clue because we just get Saga or Wimbus Kites and it's just so good. They do have it though. Yeah, they can't see what's under the heights. Okay, well, accept that. Obviously, it would have been a bit better if I had uh, been able to respond to the bowmaster not play into this but again we just have we have four saga three heights and they don't definitely have bowmaster there they've already used one it's okay i think phil is a good draw but it finds land number three or land number four however you want to quantify it is this a grist grist is really 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 bad for me here So I'm going to attack the Grist, I guess. Can see double block. So hard to imagine I'm going to still have this fiddle bender in play next turn, unfortunately. <coughs> Tough. Down to 11. Urza Saga? <laughs> Urza Saga? 
Warden something. It's pretty awkward I can't activate it this turn. Boots, Decay, Ogris could have been great there. So just having boots in play or... <laughs> sure, I'll take like any relevant permanent just in play here. I'll sing Warden of the Inner Sky. <clears throat> Two cards in their hand. Okay, so I'm going down to six life points. Not the highest. Drawing boots at the top. Yeah, sure, sure. I agree, I agree. <laughs> huh. Pretty annoying. Alright, so let's go tap, put a counter, attack the Grist. Keep Urza Saga on top. Okay, I'm seeing a path to victory. I think I'm going to attack, and then maybe my opponent's like, wait, I have six points of power in play. Okay, they're not... <laughs> they're not falling for it. Spike, you need to project a record break support. Hope this helps. I will ban you if you say something like this again. Hope that helps. <laughs> I cannot deal with nitpicky <laughs> comments about my breathing with peace and love. Sorry, I was a singing joke. I take it, I take it back. I, I apologize. <laughs> I recant my statement. <laughs> I'd like to issue an apology. Okay, I give up. Tough match. Tough match. Dixon, 36 months. Happy three years. Welcome back. Selfie. <laughs> That's very cute. Selfie messaged me and asked if I says hi sorry to bother you were you aware about the bug in our last game and thought that the uh thought that me uh assigning two damage to the orc army was a bug instead of just uh you know a play or whatever yeah mono red versus mono white very cool It's a, it's like a, it's very like uh, very very uncommon that like ordering damage matters like a particular <laughs> matters a lot like that. We should have attacked. I don't know. I wanted to use the mana from the drum. <laughs> Ban me, and I will come a mod. I'm in myself. Ooh, Good brain. I apologize. I apologize. Okay, reveal an holy heat and a geomancer's gambit. Big uh, brickaroo. Should I cast the cage? I think I'm just going to cast the cage rather than scry one here. It's pretty good use of mana. Wait, we have two VRP mods redeemed at the same time. <laughs> okay, Doc Sweeney VIP mods. Also, Sweeney, I'm sorry for. You. I thought I thought you're just being nitpicky about my breathing, which is people people have done, you know. <laughs> okay, Emrakul here. How about for Mori Vault? Uh, there's just like a million colorless utility lands you could play. I would probably play Mistress Factory over for Mori Vault. Um, oh wait, this lays, I forgot this stays until next turn, cool. So I'm going to get to put a counter on my inspector. Um, I, I don't, I don't, for more of all, it's like, also like just very slow and dopey dirtily. Ornithopter? Ornithopter have been sick here. Saga? 
cast Dimmer Cool if this was one card higher. Can maybe cast it next turn. Okay, sorry, who's VIP? Who's mod? So we have Sweeney. So okay, Sweeney wanted to become a mod. <laughs> to, to unban himself. I don't think you can unban yourself if you're banned mod. I have banned a mod before, actually. No one deserved it more than that guy. Uh, Doc, which will it be? Okay, getting my three-bit inspector bolt bolted. Just screwing around. Oh wait, you already you're already a mod. I I thought that you already were. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> already a mod. Very classy. Wait, why would you field right now? Unless you knew I couldn't use the mana. I guess I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you just want to use the red mana here for some reason. Four, five, six, seven. I guess I couldn't cast. cast couldn't quite cast this anyways. I think I, I will hold the um, I will hold the Ornithopter for now, and I'll also hold the Amaria's Call. It's like we just need to, uh, we need a creature in a land to cast it, but should have played the fifth basic also for over the Saganja Castle. It's just, the basic lands are just OP. It doesn't really matter what we choose here, because if we get to do the thing, we're doing it with the other thing. Can a mono red deck beat a 4-5? Let's see. That's growing by 2 every turn. I guess they have a 2 more than Holy Heats in the deck. Okay, I, I'm <laughs> out of basics. So getting this up to 6-7 does actually make it seem like it'll be tough to win. We can also draw almost any creature. Okay, not this time, huh? Not really much point in playing these, right? Because they just will get fielded. Okay. Yeah, let's go to go ahead and main phase, get this out of Unholy Heat range, and then after this we'll probably start going in on the Thopter. Unearthing the desk, hitting a buzz cutter or demolition field, chooses buzz cutter, which cannot uh, blow anything up, is just a four mana, four, four flyer. Opponent yet again is tapping out. I have another window to draw literally any creature. Yeah, any creature in the deck does it. We have a lot. Besides Emrakul. That would have been embarrassing. I guess there's not really much point in playing this. Just taps two mana for my opponent next turn. Yeah, I'm in the content creator program. I don't think I have my perks yet. So close to casting an Emrakul. <laughs> I filled out some secondary form yesterday. Right, out of bolt range on the Ornithopter. Awesome watcher. Yeah, I think Fiddlebender feels pretty back. There's another research desk, Hayashi's favorite card. Plays then first fields me. Cause it doesn't really matter. Finds a synthesizer and an unholy heat. So it could heat my ornithopter. Or just play a synthesizer. Heats the Ornithopter. Then unearths the desk. And hits a Shatter Skull Smashing or a Cleansing Wildfire. Chooses the Cleansing Wildfire, which is going to be uh, about as good as a Stone Rain here. Boots with the Spurs, huh? I think that I will play the Boots. And activate this here, but I don't, I don't need to equip. But I think it's just good to play the boots since there's there's no difference between this being seven 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 eight and and big or or smaller. Okay. 
My buddy said you were in a How to Build Prowess War with another streamer. Not news to me. <laughs> I, I don't know. I have, a, I have a build that I kind of like, and other people have builds they like. I, I it's Prowess is like just such a personal preference. Wow, they like they didn't as unearth the Spyro. This is huge for me. Um, so let me go ahead and get this chump lock. They have to have the fourth unholy heat here to kill my inspector, which seems less than likely, I guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pay uh, life so that I can get my novice inspector up to three four also. Blue is really good. Yeah, blue is really good and green is really good. Um, and then like you can have the best of both worlds with with worse mana. So ultimately the difference is between teamer gruel and uh between teamer gruel and is it or it's it just it's just very marginal it, the, the deck is really just not going to behave super differently no matter how you build it i guess i should save this for a ragavan right if they have bolt there you can they can bolt i could also maybe just like um not activate another vault. Okay, so this is going to get seven of the eight damage on this Thraven Inspector. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, how many bolts is this? One, two, three. I guess I'll play around the fourth one, huh? Maybe bad because of the den. I don't know. It's a tough, tough game. I know she's always so hard to play against. Red white list with engineering the influence should be good. You just can't splash it. It just doesn't work. Because you have to play so many white lands. And then also like if you're playing Saga, like you you definitely can't do it. If they were out of mana there, why not protect the inspector? I I couldn't. They were they were dealing uh enough damage to where uh it wasn't it wasn't uh enough to protect. How do we lose this game? Well, we just could draw any creature for like two or three turns and then then it, and then my opponent had uh <laughs> I don't know they had a lot. <laughs> Game's not over either, but we are we are pretty behind. Bolts me main phase. The fourth lightning bolt. Probably playing another Spyro. Alright, let's go to game. Let's go to game two. Should have played the fifth basic. Shadow Spear over Boots. First Relic, I think, is good against their Spyros and like research desks. Missing that raise alarm, I guess. I don't know. Any creature would. <laughs> I'm missing like any relevant spell for several, several turns. Um, look at the fourth Emrakul. Jailer seems fine. Jailer has a stops us from casting non-creature spells with our stuff, so you really only want to bring it in against like super important matchups. I think. Was it inconceivable to draw runner runner zero drop? Was it? It's yeah, it's kind of. I think we're like likely dead before that happens. Uh, with them having doubled in of the bugbear, they have to have like literally nothing. I have to draw a double zero zero to drop against Hayashi. He plays pretty slow. I'm just gonna go to game two. Yeah, Relic also stops heat. Yeah, Cage doesn't stop you from cast or Jailer doesn't stop you casting creatures with hideaway, but you, mo you mostly want it for living end, which is a pretty scary matchup. Will I try Insatiable Avarice with Calibrated Blast? Uh, no. It's not a good combo. Doesn't even win the game. Could this deck sustain Thopter Foundry or another Cretion Token engine to make Hideaway more consistent? I I don't know that you make Hideaway more consistent. You're just raising the curve and slowing the deck down. Like if you have active Thopter Foundry, I don't you know, then you have to Collector's Cage. <laughs> I don't know. Seems really really slow. Modern is a very is a format that's incentivizing you to be really fast at the moment, which is why. I'm gravitating towards these kind of builds. I'm probably just going to play the fifth basic planes over the castle. Just like, just so much better against Blood Moon, so much better against Field Effects. Oh, do I have to buy another one of these? <laughs> I don't have another one of these arts. Buy one. Then we need a 
Stone of E-Reach. I'll click the keep button. Yeah, we've cast we've cast a lot of it, a lot of Emrakuls. Maybe not the last couple games, but we've cast a lot in general today. All right, get in for two. My Fiddlebender is pretty dead if I cast it this turn. I wonder if I. I, th I think I'm just going to sack my clue token with the intention of um, potentially grabbing Lava Spur Boots. Oh, wait, no, I boarded out the boots as well. I think it ended up working out good to <laughs> get this to go here instead of on the Fiddlebender this turn. Phil Grease Silex, huh? And look at me with no Pithy Needle in. I think I'm casting this cage this turn. Did I consider spell skite? Uh, not super seriously. Maybe maybe it would have been good to play. Yeah. I think just the sagas are not very good in the matchup. Go for another cage. They put a counter on the silex. Which I'm a little bit surprised about. Fields me. So we're going to be able to get the warden down assuming that my opponent doesn't uh, kill whatever I target with the cage. We can attack with three creatures if we cast Thopter made a construct next turn. Well, I didn't want to make a construct into the Filgree Silex though. Like I didn't know that I didn't know that Hayashi was going to put a counter on it here. Yeah, so that they do both this. And then, which counters the ability. Then Hayashi can take it up and then practice Silex, which I guess is just going to kill me. Maybe I should have not held the little bender, hum. Oh, sorry, I forgot to trade here, too. Do you want to cast the word down to Silex? Yeah, I wanted to make them Silex on two instead of uh, one. Ideally getting the, the warden cast, but probably just better to not cast the middle bender at all there. Okay. Um sorry, I gotta get this. I'm gonna keep this on top. Cast it, pass back. Frozen North, 37 months. Thank you. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, we were 2-0 up a game. Lose two really rough games to Yogg and now <laughs> down a game against Hayashi. Only because the chatter said we were 2-3. Yeah, it's got three cards in their hand. Field of Ruin, did on the Bugbear Synthesizer. Another Synthesizer, which flips over a Spyro. Could be a little awkward to cast if the hand is good. Plays that mountain, so likely not that good. Cast the Spyro. The missing card was a mountain. Did my opponent draw a removal spell? Probably. Of course. <laughs> of course. Opponents have had a really good case of having it today. Let's run Emrakul. Heights. I'm in an early concession so we can move on from what <laughs> from, from this one, I think. Very unlikely to 
not not we were, we were like pretty above zero percent to win, but the game was just gonna go so freaking long. And I want to make some changes to the list too. I want to add the fifth basic planes. Basic planes are OP, and I want to play a stone over relic number four in the board. What deck is up after please? I I'm gonna play another one of this deck. I I I know that we are two and two. I I still am a big believer in the strategy. Go to five. Yeah, I'm, I'm like really, really liking it. I know that we like the game against Yogmoth felt like so stolen from us, and I know Hayashi game was also just like <laughs> we're just top, a top deck land away from winning for like several, or subbed up to creature away from winning for a long time. Second Titan opponent this league, we did beat them the first time. Oh, it's a f <laughs> Affinity. Probably pretty happy with this matchup. I think they have a Frogmite that they couldn't quite cast there. Seems like it'll be good to start establishing the Warden here. And seems like I'm more interested in trying to find untap land for Collector's Cage. This build feels more vulnerable to spot removal than the last build. Sure. Yeah, I agree. Deck also has a lot of a lot of other advantages, but I think it'd be impossible to argue that it's not <laughs> weaker to spot removal. Wow, people just give you cards off of uh Asper Sentinel. They're not even making a saga token. What are they doing with this mana? What what do what, you, what? Why didn't you pay for Sentinel? Oh, they must have Metallic Rebuke. So I should have cast the Cage before I, I knew I wasn't getting rebuked. Oh, no, never mind. Do this for the different power condition. They got a spellball memorical. Yeah, if they spellball memorical, I think that's that's fine. They had affinity three spellball made the frog free. I, I what? Restoration viable with all the hideaway stuff. I was thinking about it. Like rest restoration could be good. It it's nice that it like puts both of these into play, but it's just it's the card is just three mana, which kind of stinks. Maybe it's better than Fiddlebender. It's obviously not bad with Fiddlebender either. But I just don't want to I just we'd have to add lands too if we added it. So I'm gonna bring in the portable hole. I'm gonna bring in at least the first needle, probably also the second needle. I think I'm gonna be maybe boots over Shadow Spear. I feel like I'm not really winning the Shadow Spear construct battle. I'm gonna cut the uh, brainstone and the star. Usually, in more linear matchups, like they trim those. Let's do this. Deathways for spell bomb. Yeah, but th they could have paid for Sentinel and then Frog Minded and then also had the spell bomb up. Tentive Sunscribe works with Springleaf Press Warden. Gnome 2 2. Whenever it becomes tapped, scry 1. Unplayable, sorry. It's just, I know, you have to have a certain level of quality. Oh, this could be turned to a miracle. You have to have a certain level of quality with your two mana spells in modern, and that one is just not not it. We have a lot of relooks at Immercle here. We didn't get to turn to Immercle yesterday. We had it twice, and we got disrupted twice. Turn to a Mary's Calls, not, uh, not so bad, I guess. Yeah, Hideaway's a cast, so you get the extra turn. So do we feel like my opponent has a Metallic Rebuke here? Every Affinity player I've played against lately has it, so I, I'm, I'm going to play this Warden. They definitely have it. If they counter, great. If they, if they don't, uh, <laughs> also good. going to scry before I Heights to dig for Immercool some more. Keep that on top. Oh, 
Turn two, Emery is called not enough. Let's do a turn three, Emrakul. Please don't synthesize your meme. Yeah, I don't know. This I think this deck seems like something special. I I know we're th we're three two this league, but the thing is just fast, it's pretty consistent, and it's hard to interact with. It feels better than the list yesterday so far. Emrakul cannot be countered. <laughs> okay, we're gonna play fifth basic land. Basic plans are OP. They're just they're just better than the Aganjos, I think. Um I'm gonna play the first stone of E Reach, good suggestion. A lot of Yogmoth, more scales. You can bring it in against Scam if you want. Let's run it back. I will quickly.